Welcome. <laughs> and welcome to the super fun, awesome Avi Dunn Battle Show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and we've got some crazy, crazy ness uh, happening. Pretty cool effect. Uh, That's cool, eh? Pretty cool sounding, looking, uh, and made in Australia uh, mm. in Newcastle, uh, down near Sydney. Yes. Uh, by Nick. Uh, and beautiful noise mm. effects. This is the end of Sleeper. Yes. And, um, yeah, wow. So it's, it's a dual delay slash wild modulation slash bit crusher yeah. all in one. All the good things in one pedal. Box. Yeah, wow. Well. Uh, hey, before getting to some sounds though, if you could hit like and subscribe on the video and the channel, give us a thumbs up if you like it and um, leave a comment below too, see what you think. And um, uh, hit the notification bell when you subscribe, that would be fantastic. Yes, please. So, um, should, should we hear a clean tone? Let's, yes, so we're going into the Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20, uh, uh, which goes into a 1x12 uh, with a Celestian Greenback, mm. uh, mic'd up with a Lewitt MTP440, hello Lewitt people, mm. and a Shaw SM57, and they're kind of both blenderized together. And then we also have the Cab Loader by Angle, hello Angle people, uh, which is sort of blenderized into that as well with yep. the, uh, well, Watch the video there if you want to find out more about the cab loader. That's, you know, there. All right, so, uh, or oh, end, we're both playing uh, guitars oh, yeah. by the good folks at Eastwood today. I've got the... Just so, ha <laughs> we didn't plan it, but yeah. Well, you haven't yet, but... Oh, yeah. we haven't planned it. Yeah, planned I it. thought you said you hadn't planned it. Okay. Yeah, so we got... <laughs> sorry. Um, I've got the Side Jack Deluxe Baritone, uh, which is a lovely baritone guitar. Mm. This is the Airline Twin Tone. Um, yeah, kind of bolt on neck, really substantial flat body, a um, couple of humbuckers, and it's pretty damn cool. Big thank you to Michael and everyone. Yes. Yeah. Rad guitars. Good. Rad guitars. All right, clean tone is Suchly. <laughs> kind of now, with this. Arpeggio thing. Yeah. So it just reminds me of like craft work. Yeah. Like um, yeah. lo-fi, yeah, yeah, <laughs> lo-fi noise. So basically, okay, so let, let's, let's have a look at this. Let's turn this all the way down. Let's forget about that for a second, right? So we've got the big knob, little knob, and a switch. Let's forget about them. Let's look at these things. So basically you have a dual delay. Do you want me to play new? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, Maybe, so this is the clean sound for him. more time on this than I have. Yes. Uh, I'll go on the bridge pickup. Beautiful. So you basically have two independent delays there. Yeah. Right. This is delay one with a de with delay time. Uh, sorry, with delay volume, delay time, and feedback. Right. So let's just start off, and that's your on-off switch, and this is an overload switch, which we'll get to later on. Let's just start off one delay. Sounds like one delay. Sounds, Sounds like one delay. <laughs> delay time, which I believe. Hang on, it goes from. Uh, Thirty milliseconds uh, to one thousand two hundred milliseconds. So if you turn it all the way down, it's thirty milliseconds. Oh, sorry, that one. And everything in between. Um, and then that's your feedback. So one of the things I always like about delays is when you turn the delay all time all the way down and then you turn the feedback up a bit. And they will self-oscillate self relatively early, the feedback. You don't sure. have to go all the way. Cool. It's a lovely delay, and I, I like how it not it doesn't work with all delays, but with some delays, when you sort of ride it just on the verge of feedback, yeah, where it's not quite going crazy, self-oscillating, but it sort of sits there, and it's just on the verge of going crazy. That's 
Uh, it becomes like a pa pad. Effect. Like a pad, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So now what you can do, right? So then you have a second delay, which we'll, we'll, we'll look into that as well. But let's just, with the single delay now, you've got this knob here called Glide, right? So you've got, like I said, delay uh, volume, so, or mix, delay time feedback, and you've got a twice, yeah? Wow. And we'll get into that so you can do dual delay things. But now you have a thing called uh, Glide, which is modulation, basically, and you've got a switch which changes to... What does it actually say here? The toggle switch, left is slow, uh, wow and flutter style modulation, right is faster chorus vibrato flutter. Huh. That's different modulation, right? Sure. So let's just, let's, let's, let's do a nice, you know, nice delay. It's, it goes quite wild too, the modulation, but it's cool. It's really nice modulation. I'll play some long chords, see, see how I hear it. And an overload yeah. basically sends it into, like a feedback sure. loop, sends it into self oscillation. But so, it's um, it's really quite it's pretty. Yeah. It's wild. It's quite substantial modulation, but it's it's pretty. It's an interesting shape on the modulation curve too. It's not a sign, yeah. Yeah. Does it say actually it's what? A triangle does, or something? Is it a um, glide? Or like ramping thing? No. Well, the left side it says it's a wire and flutter thing. Yeah. Oh, and there's also an internal um, trim pot where you can change, uh, where you can change the rate of the um, LFO. Cool. Right. Uh, there's actually well, there's three controls. There's also a dark switch so you can make the re uh, the delay sound darker, more analog vibe. And there's also uh, a feedback thing which increases the loop delay to when it goes back into the de delay one feedback loop thing. But oh no, okay, so okay, so basically we've got one delay. Now let's add the second delay to it, sure, yeah, yeah. just to make it kind of you know interesting. So how about, let's have one really fast delay and one really short delay. Classic, classic. So let's let's what does this one sound like? And with a little bit, let's actually let's keep the modulation off for now. From the future. <laughs> well, from we haven't even gone to the big crash yet. 1957. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's cool, isn't it? So you've got a really short delay that's almost feeding back, almost self-oscillating, but it, it goes into that longer delay, which kind of gives it that ambience. I really, I think it's a really, really, really nice, really pretty. Um, I mean, the modulation can get quite wacky and that sort of seasickness, yeah. yep. but it just has so much character, I think, that, to me. Okay, now let's introduce, lastly, because I mean, there's one, there's a big knob here that we haven't even touched yet. <laughs> All right, uh, which actually that, now what we can, just to show that, we can turn the delays off, right? So we have no delay, no origination. Just, so it's just nothing. Checks out. So Crush, it checks out. Crush is a bit crusher. You can just use it on its own. You can just use it as a bit crusher pedal if you like. So we can turn it up a bit. It's like bloody fairies. Trippy fairies. Trippy fairies. <laughs> Glide. And it goes effect all the way down to total 8-bit fuzz when maxed out. Does that affect that? Uh, no. Or does it just add modulation? That just, that's the... Only modulation on the tails. On the repeats, yeah. But now, 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 now. Let's have a little bit of delay going and just add a little bit to it, just for some ambiance. It's just, it's, it's, I like it a lot. It's almost a um, performance tool as well as just affecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's beautiful noise. It's, it, it's too says, true. It says it on the packet. It says it on the packet. Yeah, cool. Um, do you want, let, 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 oh, and then, well, and then, I mean, you can send it into self-isolation. Let me have a bit of a play yeah, on, yeah. on baritone. Swap. The, the modulation gets very wacky very quickly. <laughs> That's insane. But just a little bit of the cr bit crusher, it kind of gives this kind of synthetic halo, yeah. halo effect. Like those, and then if you play sort of a little bit dissonant kind of. I mean, 
and just added, that's like a movie soundtrack. Yes. That's that's atmospheric. Like, like a sitar from space. Crazy atmospheric. I, I think it's awesome. I think it's a really, really cool pedal. That gets very loud very quickly. Yes. <laughs> But I mean, that's basically, even the dog likes it, uh, that's basically the pedal, it's it's dual delay, and I mean, if you turn all this stuff off, you can just use it as a kind of cool dual delay, and you can find, yeah, you know, totally, yeah. like, you know, that sort of almost edge style, I mean, you can keep it fairly re straightforward. Uh, you know, you have one that's a bit shorter, one that's a bit longer. Fi Edge. <laughs> Trippy Space Edge. <laughs> That's for U2's upcoming yeah. ambient album. Mm, um, I think it's really cool. I think it's a it's a really, really it's a bit different. It's has its own kind of vibe to it, its own kind of flavour to it. Yep. Um I like I like the artwork. Um I like how it sounds. I like how the whole presentation with the whole, you know, the, the manual and everything as well, the instructions. Plus, it's made in Australia, and you know, which is always a, a bonus Two for us up. anyway. Two uh, I really dig it. Yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, big thank you to Nick yeah, at uh, Beautiful thank Noise you. Effects down in um, Newcastle uh, for setting this up. Uh, there's going to be another Beautiful Noise Effects pedal, uh, the when the sun explodes. It's a reverb. A uh, reverb, which is a. a I really, really like this. Mm. Put out of the two pedals, the other one. That's, that's to cool. me, that's just brilliant pedal. Absolutely. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up soon as well. Um, there's links to um, Beautiful Noise Effects down below. Make sure to check them out. Uh, and what else should people do while they're surfing oh, yeah. the interwebs? Hey, there's links below to our Instagram, Facebook, and our podcast, as well as our Facebook chat group. You can jump on there and um, just share stuff, mostly music-related, preferably. And, um, yeah, just chat about gear and music and whatever you'd like to. And, um, yeah, like if, if like I said, if you could hit like and subscribe on the video and the channel. And uh, thanks for watching so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You uh, and thanks to everyone for all the stuff that they sent us and uh, mm -hmm. that we said thank you to before as well. <laughs> Bye. See ya.